Finally tonight, what paleontologists are calling the holy grail of dinosaur hunting, the discovery of a prehistoric monster that before now scientists had only speculated about. While later dinosaurs rule the land, this one may have been king of the water. We get the story tonight from NBC's Tom Costello. Move over, T-Rex. It turns out that 40 million years earlier, there was another very big, very bad carnivore on the block. Scientists believe they've now discovered the first known swimming dinosaur. Meet Spinosaurus, 50 feet long from head to tail and sporting a seven-foot giant sail on its back. University of Chicago scientists Paul Sereno and Nizar Ibrahim dug the fossils out of the Moroccan desert, then pieced them all together with the help of some diagrams drawn by a German scientist more than 100 years ago. Now it's on the cover of Nat Geo. I would say it's the holy grail of, of dinosaur paleontology um, for many people, I think, because it's such a bizarre animal. At the National Geographic Museum in Washington, a Spinosaurus mock-up is turning heads young and old. I didn't see that coming. You didn't see that coming, huh? Nine feet longer than a T-Rex, Spinosaurus virtually lived in water, hunting almost anything that moved. I think I'd be terrified and I'd run at first sight, run. That would be a good idea. With a snout like a crocodile and paddle-like feet, he could eat a sawfish for lunch. 97 million years ago, he was a ferocious killer lurking in North African rivers. It was really adapted for uh, catching the fish of the day, which were enormous. There were 12, 15, 20-foot fish and lots of sharks. I like their wings, and I like the sails on the back from the Spinosaurus, and I like their sharp teeth and their claws. You like everything. <laughs> There's something about discoveries from a long lost world that capture the imagination. Earth was so very different then. But once the sun goes down, seven-year-old Zoe has no interest in even thinking about Spinosaurus. In the night, it's not a good bedtime story to learn about. That's certainly true. Spinosaurus does not make a good bedtime story. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington.